Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Stuart, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basic things I do after doing the skin retouching on all my images to make your photos look better and more appealing. Remember, skin retouching is not the only thing that you need to do on your images to have them looking better. So, in this video, I'll be showing you what I do after doing skin retouching and how I do it. So, you can see. We got the image from looking like this to looking like this with just simple steps that's what i'm just about to show you in this uh, very video you can see before and after so I just come and i simply delete this and if i totally haven't hit the like button on this video simply like this video because you're going to be you're going to basically benefit rather so much from this very video so the very first thing i tend to do you can see after doing the skin retouching yes, before after before after so after doing the skin retouching, the very first thing I tend to do is having uniform skin color or uniform skin tones. And how I do that basically, I use the gradient map tool within Photoshop. So I'll just come right here to the adjustments and simply create a gradient map adjustment layer. And after creating it, it's going to apply any other random color over the image. So when this happens, if I told you have any other random color, don't mind about that. So just come and hide this layer and select the gradient icon and after selecting the gradient icon simply left click on the color option to open up the gradient editor then we just want to create uniform skin color or uniform skin tones for this image so just come and left click on the this pointer then left click on the color option and make sure sample is set 5 by 5 average right there and choose the darkest point of the color of the skin tone and hit OK. Then do the same for the brightest point or this point right here. Left click on it. Then left click once again and choose the brightest point of the skin tone. Hit OK. Then click in the middle right here. So I'm just going to do this once again. Then choose the brightest point of the skin tone. I'll zoom in by using Ctrl plus. Then I'll simply hit there and hit OK. Then click in the middle and set the location to 50, type in 50. Then choose the mid-tones of the skin tone and hit OK. So by just doing that, we have been able to copy colors from this exact skin tone and place them on this kind of slider right here and hit OK. So after doing, doing that, simply activate the layer once again and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color. And come and select this layer mask right here and simply press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard. Then after that, just come and get the brush tool. Settings, hardness at zero and soft round brush is selected. With the opacity and the flat 100%, make sure you have black and red on these two color swatches. Then, if at all you have any other random color, you can simply left click on these two small boxes. And after doing that, just come and zoom out and start painting on the skin. So increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And simply come and paint onto a skin of the model. So I'm just going to come and paint on only the skin just like that. And you can see that the rest of the body is matching uh, with uh, the face in this case. So I'm just going to come to the face area by zooming in and using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard and simply come and paint just like that to create that kind of uniformity uh, within the skin tone. So I'll just come and paint on only the skin tones just like that and you can see by just doing this we are now having we are just having uniform skin color or uniform skin tones you can see what we are doing right now just like that we are having uniform skin tones so don't mind if at all you're having a different color of the skin because you can always correct that kind of issue so I just come and paint just like that reduce and paint on every area so you have to be precise and paint on each and every area that has skin so that you don't leave out any area regarding the skin tones so I'll just come and paint just like that and by just doing this we are having uniform skin tones for the image and you can see right now the skin tones are looking nice beautiful and even so like I said, if at all you are having any issues regarding skin tones, you can always come and correct that. So if at all you painted an area that you don't, you didn't want to paint, 
in the first place you can simply switch the brush back to black and erase the effect from that area so i'm just going to hit ctrl z so i feel like the skin tone is leaning more to the green side so i feel like it's leaning more to the green side so i'll just double click right there and open this up so if at all the green side is more in the mid tone so i'll just click once again and I can simply correct that by moving this pointer to whatever area that I want, just like that. So I'll just come and add more reds, just like that, by moving this closer. So I'll just come and hit OK. So I'll do the same for every area that I may not have painted in. So by just doing that, we have been able to create uniform or matching skin tones for this model so after doing this the next thing is coming and ensuring that you lower the opacity if at all the effect is too much so just come to opacity and simply turn down or lower the opacity to around maybe 70 or let's go 70 so this is a before after before after the skin is looking uniform so the next thing i tend to do when it comes to making photos better after doing the skin retouching is simply adding a tiny bit of shine to the image so I'll just come to the adjustments here and create a curves adjustment layer so just come to curves right there and click right here at this pointer and simply drag it towards the left hand side until when the image is looking somehow brighter and close the properties right here so I'll simply double click on this layer option to open up the layer style dialog box right there. And after opening it, I'll simply come to the underlying layer. Remember, we don't want the brightness to affect the darkest points of the model. So I'll just come and left click and drag this away from the shadows or the darkest points up the point whereby only the brightest points are affected by the effect. Hold down the option key or you can use the alternate key on the keyboard and split this. And by splitting that, the effect is going to be better and fine-tuned and I'll simply hit OK. Select the layer mask right here and simply press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard. With the brush tool selected and white as the foreground color. And by the way, you can switch between black and white by using the arrow key right here. So I'll just come and simply paint just like that using a white brush to reveal my effect and that is going to be adding shine or glow to the model skin and it's going to make the skin and the overall image look better so I'll just come and paint just like that on the brightest areas of the skin tone and that is basically going to make the image uh, look uh, better so you can see that the image is now turning to look better and you can see before after before after for just doing that small step so after doing that the next thing you're going to do or what i tend to do next is simply coming and playing around with the contrast levels and the saturation levels of the image so i'll just come to q and saturation once again come to the master and simply select the reds and simply turn down the lightness just like that so that the skin can look better and look natural enough i think that is okay then i'll come and create a black and white adjustment layer so I'll create it and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and reduce the opacity down just like that to make the skin look better and more realistic. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll just come and create one more selective color adjustment layer. Come to the blacks and simply increase on the blacks just like that. And come the yellows and simply cool down just like that, cool down the overall image so after doing all this the next thing is going to be or the final step is always going to be doing the eye whitening so for eye whitening i'll simply come to the adjustments and create one more hue and saturation adjustment layer make sure the master option is selected come to the saturation right here and simply take down the saturation just like that and you can by doing this it's going to make the image a little bit black and white stop at around negative 70 or 75 and simply with this lemma selected press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard with the brush tool selected and white as the foreground color 
reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and i'll simply come and paint on the white area of the eye and that is going to reveal the whitening effect remember this is going to be removing all those random colors from the white area of the eye and it's going to basically make the eyes white or you can use the same method for teeth whitening so this is what we have been able to achieve by just adding these tiny steps to the image so you can see if at all i show you the before and after for this very image so this is what we have i'm just going to put this in a group ctrl g so this is the before for just those tiny steps and after before after before after so you can as well transform your images by just adding these tiny steps to your photos to make them look better and more appealing to a person looking at them so this is what i tend to do after doing skin retouching in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating